Curie High School on Chicago's southwest side, the librarians were recipients of the Chicago Public Schools Department of Libraries Vital Grant. They received class sets of iPads to help enhance their library services. Let's hear from librarian Carmen Adams about how she will use the iPads with a class that is coming to the library. Hi, I'm Carmen Adams, one of the librarians here at Curie High School. Today we will be doing our first lesson using our iPads. Our students are psychology students here and they will be examining the brain. We will be using an app on our iPad called the 3D Brain. With this app, the students will be able to examine the parts of the brain as well as the function of those parts and even some things that happen when those parts of the brain are damaged. Good afternoon, students, and welcome back to the Media Center. Um, today is our second day with our lesson using the 3D Brain app. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to quickly review how to get into the application, and then you all are doing a follow-up assignment. Miss Adams begins the lesson by instructing her students on the use of the 3D Brain app by using an iPad connected to a projector. Everyone should have this worksheet. Today we're going to follow up with some additional information about the structure of the brain. There are several functions here on the right-hand side that we want to use in order to find information about the parts of the brain. If we click on this next icon, this the one that says T. Now let's hear from some Curie students about what they think about using the iPads in the library. And um, do you like using iPads? Yeah, I really do actually. It's a lot easier, a lot neater, and you know, just basically just touch screen, so that's comfortable for me. Hi, what are you doing with the iPad? Uh, well, right now I'm going to put a rub room on the, on, the, on the Science 2 app, the 3D Brain. Mm -hmm. And basically you just click on it, you see you click on the structures, it's the rubble room, you hit info, and it shows you all, it shows you the name, the overview, the case study, and it shows you the associated function, the s disorders, and stuff like that. Basically, you know. All parts of the brain. And um, do you, this is your second day using the iPad. Do you like using an iPad? I do. It's a lot more, it's easier. It's, I think it's really creative. It gives us a look at the brain. It's just, I don't know. It's very okay, and it's rotating actually, yeah, right? Like a 3D rotation. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, it looks like you're searching for something on the iPad. What are you looking for? Um, right now I'm looking to find the information of the reticular formation, which is in the brain stem. Very good. Um, how do you like using uh, the iPad to search for information? I like it, especially because it's an app that we're using. So, um, I mean, I'm not on the internet, which would cause me to normally like get off track. So it stays. You stay focused yeah. because you're in the app. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can't read it. Hi. It looks like you're using the iPad as well. Tell me, uh, what do you think about the iPad? This is the second day you're using it. What are your experiences so far? I like the iPad because uh, it's something that we can really relate to and that we used to use all the time, but we don't have to use the computer and have to log on when you can already just flip the, the thing back and just go. So you like the really quick startup feature? Yeah. Thank you. Here, well, how do you think this compares to just uh, being in the classroom and using only a textbook? How do you, how do you like this? I think it's a really good experience because you can actually look directly for the information instead of having to flip through the pages. Okay, so you find it gets you to your information more quickly as well. Thank you. Now let's hear from the classroom teacher about what she thinks about using iPads with her students. Hello, my name is Christina Prado. I teach psychology at Curie High School. And uh, this is um, a psychology class. They're juniors and seniors. And uh, we've been learning about the brain. We're in our neuroscience um, brain unit and the students are getting uh, a chance to use the 3D app, uh, which gives them a better idea where things are located in the brain and they're learning more about um, different parts of the brain, um, the, uh, the impact it has if there's an injury, and also uh, they're also looking at case studies. So this is the first time they're exposed to case studies in psychology. And I think the kids really like it because the, uh, our kids are very tech savvy. They're, uh, 
they're very they know a lot more sometimes than even the, myself and um, I think they're very uh, uh, it, it's in tune to their um, not only um, their lifestyle but it's also something that we're exposing them and encouraging them to know more about technology and apply it in their um, class in their class. now let's hear from Ms. Adams about how she thinks the iPads have benefited her library program these iPads have had a tremendous impact on our library program. We are a school with about 3,400 students. Most of our students are at or above um, poverty level. That means they receive free lunch. For these students, most of them, this technology, technology of this kind, is the first that they've had personal um, experience with and, and, and been able to use this technology. Also with so many students in our school, um, the more technology we have, the more access our students can have to the internet, to these different learning applications, the more opportunities these students will have not having to wait for a computer. Before we got the iPads, we had about 40 um, laptop computers that were available. We also had, we had desktop computers. We also had some laptops. Adding these 32 um, iPads to our collection has just furthered the extent of the technology that's available to our students. Our students are very excited about this technology. It's 2012, these 21st century learners need to have hands-on access all the time to the kind of technology that they will need when they go into the workforce. They need to be global learners. The apps that are available on these iPads allow our students to learn this technology and to um, be able to, to get use of various aspects of our curriculum that are available through the apps that we have on our iPads. This has tremendously helped our collaboration with our teachers because they're able to come to us and tell us about different apps that they will need for lessons and it's also helped us just to expand what we are able to provide for the students. So we're very excited about these iPads in our library. iPads by themselves won't make a great library program but combined with skilled librarians, collaborative classroom teachers, and engaged students, these iPads have been a win for Curie High School.